Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. You ready? You ready? And we are underway here live from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh! Nice one-two there. Good inside leg And kick. she's down! Back to the orthodox stance. Good job of timing strikes here. Calvillo gets hit hard with that overhand. Knee to the body. Another nice knee. Vicious knees. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Look at that transition. Able to land the single ground strike there. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Now it's deeper. This could be it. It's getting tighter. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Well, no doubt it was quick, and you knew if she could take this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. And let's see it again here. You can see her struggling, trying to work free, and eventually blacks out. Perfect rear naked choke. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Mackenzie Bell! Oh, well, how good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners. She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up for a high-profile opponent now moving forward. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. There you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, we are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, double jab. Oh, huge leg kick there, Joe. You wonder how many more she can take of those. Oh, stunning jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, the right and the left behind it. Nice hook to the body. And now that jab starting to get established. Oh, excellent job of landing punches here. Just out of range with the uppercut. Chambers gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice leg kicks. Chambers' lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, double jab. Oh, man, she moved right into that hook shot, Joe. Not a good look. Her head was wide open there for the taking. She's got to not lean into her opponent's striking range like that. Get back on the tip of your toes, circle out of harm's way, and try to make the defensive adjustments. Didn't quite connect. Splits the 
guard and connects there. Oh, that was a powerful kick to the body. Huge shots there. Powerful jab. Oh, head kick. Continues to work off of that jab beautifully. All of her. Oh. Needs a big knee. This could be a yeah. big oh, knee. Oh. Big beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. And really starting to make these shots count. Big punches here. Good shot to the head. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Huge ground and pound. Big she body shot. Body. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. She's out! She's and out! That's gonna do it! She's out cold! Ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, that's about as good as it gets in terms of the ground and pound in modern-day mixed martial arts. She wasn't stalling. She wasn't trying to score points. She was trying to finish the fight. Certainly, you can say mission accomplished on that front as she gets the big TKO victory here in this round. We can see it one more time from a different angle. Ground and pound at its finest. And that is the shot that ends this fight. Here we see it again. Boom! And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the assassin. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an absolute superstar, especially given what she did tonight. Biggest knockout victory of her career. Certainly kept the judges out of it as she said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus, I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is going to get a high-profile opponent next. And she is going to enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coaches and teammates. It is a bantamweight matchup between Maureen Renault and Jessica Aguilar. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go here with live action from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That one hurt. Going to the jab on the counter here, blocked by Renault. Well, she has really found her timing in this round, Joe. Nice left, left kick to the body. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Renault. Aguilar gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice punch there by Renault. Oh! That's a big punch to the clinch. Knee to the body. Oh, nice punch there by Renault. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Knee to the body. Outstanding knees. Another nice knee. Got the Muay Thai clinch, knees are coming. And she lands the double leg takedown. We'll see what she can do with it. Aguilar gets caught with that punch. And now she's in half guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Aguilar. Big body punch. the bottom. The ground strike starting to pile up. Oh, elbow to the head. Lands oh, a big elbow. Man, up. that is rough. Oh, horrifying ground and pound from the top. Big elbow. 
Lesnar's eye and the swelling around it is only getting worse by the minute. You gotta wonder, Joe, at this point, whether or not that might be a Looking fracture. Looking for the choke. Looking for the choke. That choke is locked up. This is, could be it. This arm triangle looks locked in tight. She may have to tap any second now. And there it is. Standing. Got caught in the choke and didn't have the time to tap. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? She goes to sleep, and you've got to admire her toughness for not wanting to tap out, but she just couldn't deal with the grappling acumen of her opponent here tonight. A beautiful setup and an even better display of technique to ultimately get the finish and put her opponent out for good. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight, and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. Let's see it one more time. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Marion, the Belizean Bruiser. So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I gotta keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations. All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Ashley Evans-Smith and Juliana Lima. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. There you go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Well, a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we're underway from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, jumping knee! That's a big hook. Body kick, look at that. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Clean jab, nice combination. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. Effective strike there by Evan Smith. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Now mixing one into the body. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, big shot to the top. Knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. lands to the head. These are hard elbows. Big knee to the body. Ferocious knee. Brutal elbows here. Landing some serious knees. And a knee. Big elbow there. Full mouth. Very nicely done. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, massive elbows are landing. That's gonna leave a mark. Good ground and pound. Nice elbows. Lima gets caught with that punch. Big shot. Goes upstairs for an elbow. And very effective with the ground and pound. She's out. Oh. Got the full mount, secured the position, and dropped bombs. Yes, Joe, just outstanding ground and pound for her to finish her opponent tonight. She was throwing one big shot after the next, not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight. We can see it one more time from a different angle. Ground and pound at its finest, and that is the shot that ends this fight. Check it out here. Crank right on the jaw. 
Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ashley Evans Smith. Well, there are a few greater highs in all of professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon, but she took it a step further tonight. Massive knockout victory. No TKO here. This was a flush KO. She's probably getting some bonus money. One thing I can guarantee you, she is getting a massive high-profile opportunity next. Congratulations as the celebration continues following the big KO tonight. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both... You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with this championship fight. Will we crown a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion tonight? Let's find out. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Good shots by the champion. Oh, very nice. Really good job landing that series of punches. Oh! Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Oh, big elbow beautiful there, elbow. Big, big body shot. shot. To the body. Outstanding oh, elbows. Knee to the body. Landed that one. Another nice knee. Big Ooh. elbow. Excellent movement here on the ground. Gets the elbow up into the target. That's it! She's out! That'll oh, do it! Wow. What a knockout! Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful technique to land the fight ending shot. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Here's a different angle on it. And let's see that again. Smack. Look at that elbow. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight. And you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, the destroyer. Well, she came in as the undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion, and Joe, that is exactly the way she goes out after dusting the number one contender here tonight by knockout. What a moment in the corner right now as they celebrate arguably the biggest win of her UFC career. And it's gonna take a major effort, Joe, from another woman here at 135 pounds to dethrone the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion.
All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Alexandra Albu and Juliana Pena. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, so strikers need not apply as we get this grapple-only event underway, so no strikes of any kind. You can't strike on the feet. You can't strike on the canvas if you get your opponent there. Clinch work is good. Takedowns are allowed, as are slams and judo throws. But the only way to win tonight is to submit your opponent. Let's see who gets the job. She gets her back. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. She establishes full mount. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Full guard now. Into half guard again. She's in full mount again. They're canceling each other out. Getting in position for an arm bar. It looks like she's got that arm pretty tight. Throw the leg over the face. This could be it, it's getting tighter. That's and it. And that will do it. And here's the end of the fight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Juliana the Venezuelan Vixen. So congratulations to Bantamweight contender Juliana Pena, who continues to show great improvements since moving her camp from the Pacific Northwest to the Midwest. And you're just not going to out-mean or out-nasty Juliana Pena. She gets one of the biggest wins of her UFC career in a big spot here tonight. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight between Kylan Curran and Raquel Pennington. You ready? You ready? Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Kick to the body is there. Good one, two. Now mixing one into the body. And she lands that left again. Pennington gets caught with that punch. Oh, she continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Effective use of the jab by her there. She's doing a real nice job timing these shots, staying busy. Very good look for the judges here. Getting the hands going here early. Pretty strong jab there by Kylan Curran. Just missed with the huge kick. Excellent job of landing punches here. Consistently finding a home for that left punch. Oh! oh! She might try to finish this right here. This could be it right here. Vicious combinations. How about that chin? Vicious combo there. And now starting to 
snap off that jab. Big punches. Hard straight punch. That one hurts. Good combinations landing here. Effective punch there by Pennington. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Well, she left her head open there, Joe, and she paid for it. She continues to lean in, almost as if she's moving into the strike. She'd be wise to change up the tempo here. Wow! That left high kick came out of nowhere! Try to establish that jab. Curran gets caught with that punch. Oh! Again here, but hurting. Oh! Oh! Lands a nice one too. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Well, no feeling out process for her here tonight. She has stayed technical, but really a more aggressive approach than we have seen from her in the past. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whoa! Oh, and she's just out, like that, the fight is over. She's out cold. She threw a large volume of strikes all night long, and this bomb finally lands for the knockout. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, Joe. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. And here we see it from a different angle. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Raquel. Congratulations to the fighter and to her team as she becomes a new UFC champion of the world here tonight. And she saved her best performance for last, and I probably shouldn't say last, because she'll want to turn around and defend this title in short order. But tonight, the celebration is on as she becomes a UFC champion for the first time.